In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this globe with embedded text. Select the light and the cube and delete them. Then start with text and rotate it over x the x axis uh, 90 degrees. Then load your font of choice. And then edit the text. Let's take the front view, scale it up a bit. And also add some geometry. Okay, now for the globe. Let's add a circle and increase the vertices and then rotate it as well. Nice degrees of rotation. Go into edit mode and start scaling it up. Then we just copy the circles a couple of times and move it where we want to be, want them to be. Something like this. Gonna increase the width between or the space between characters. Okay. So now is the time. Now you can still move them. So now is the time to make some static adjustments. If you have any. Okay. Um, go to mesh view. And then let's start deleting the ones that we don't need. Okay. Now we just need to move these into place. You can just eyeball it. Okay, go out of edit mode and let's convert these. Let's go to solid view. Now let's also add a mirror modifier. Back to geometry. I'm going to add some depth here. Okay. It's good. You can add a custom profile, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it at four, maybe three. Hmm. I'll go with three. I I like the the flat edge in front. To, to solve these uh, artifacts, you can go back to the mirror modifier and um, increase this value. So everything is fixed. Okay. Now we can actually scale this. Um, a little bit like that. All right. Um, let's duplicate the text and rename this to um, negative. Mm, and we're going to increase the negatives um, bevel a bit, just like this. And then we're going to convert it to a mesh. And also for this, I think, yeah, maybe just a little bit thicker. Yeah, I like this. Oh, uh, yeah, that's okay. I will also save it, of course. Okay. Okay, and now we can also convert our globe to a mesh. Um, just already shaded smooth and then out oh, the smooth as well and now we can add a boolean modifier and we can subtract the negative 
And let's just apply it and then remove the negative. Okay, so now you have like this kind of cutout effect. Stars looking good. Okay, nice and chunky. Um, let's move the camera into place. So it will be like this and then 90. Okay, and then we're gonna go negative here. Okay, maybe we can already change the view a bit. Try a little uh, resolution. Okay. Now put on these options. Okay, we don't see a lot yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go into shading. Um, let's first give them um, Oh, dear. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Diffuse. Classy. Uh, put the roughness here down and put it, give it a little bit here. And then just, you can make this higher. And then we're going to add a mix RGB. Oh, sorry. I have a mix shader. And we use a facing output and we're gonna look how that is. And uh, we also have to assign oh this is chrome material. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then we just need to do the world. <clears throat> and for this I had uh, some textures prepared, some Thigh Boy digital artworks. Um, yeah, control, control, oh, control T, and then we can open our AGRIs. I got two, and um, I want to mix them a bit, so I will be duplicating this one. Um, so I think I have the purple one and the green one. Um, we can actually preview it here. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Yes, and then we also have the purple one. Okay, and now I want to uh, mix it. We'll also drive it with a mapping node. So we can change it later on. And I have some more control with a color ramp. Let's view this output. Yeah. More next to each other, like big chunks. Okay. And then we'll do a mix RGB this time. We're just gonna mix these two textures um, with this noise. And then we're gonna use that as an input to the emission and we're gonna preview the emission. Okay, and now I just wanna correct this with gamma factor. have these things yeah okay, I want to get rid of these lines so okay so let's do this one. okay it's starting to look crazy Now I actually don't want to see it, so I'll put transparency on here. Now we have this, this green effect. Let's see if we can tweak that. 
maybe it's nicer to have something uh, like more silver. Oh, let's see. The noise texture is not doing anything here. I think there's too much green. Okay, and now maybe boost emission. Okay, ah, that was what I was looking for. Okay. Now we can do some funky blue effects what do I need to knee I'm okay with this actually the radio should is a bit, can be a bit smaller okay what do I okay starts looking good I'm going to camera mode and now we want to um, put in some some keyframes. Um, okay, add a keyframe. Add a keyframe to the Z axis. And then we're going to turn it 90 degrees. And then we're going back, minus 90 degrees, we're going back to zero. And now we have um, the font on both sides correctly. Just need to check our craft editor. So here, so let's try and um, change the extrapolation mode. Okay, and then we just need to put this somewhere here, like to the right, and then do the same thing for here as well. So eyeball it, it's okay. And now if we go back to our timeline and play it, okay, it goes out of bounds here. So let's change the camera location. Okay. Well, that was it. I've been seeing a lot of cool uh, other YouTubers making uh, tutorials. And yeah, they just inspire me to also do it. And maybe you can use this tutorial to make something that you like. Thanks for watching. Bye.